and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to teach you on how to use your Zoom application in teaching your students online. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to download the Zoom application in our computer. Or if you don't have it yet, you can just simply type zoom.us in your search engine. Okay, and here's what we can see. Of course, we need to sign up and click this button. Sign up, it's free. Now, in signing up, we have options that we can see. We can sign in with SSO, sign in with Google, or sign in with Facebook. I'm going to choose sign in with Google. Now, once you've signed up, you can see this in your screen. And you need to choose this tab, host a meeting. When you click this, you can see three options with video on with video off and screen share only we're going to choose with video on we are the teacher and i think it's important that our students can see us so i'm going to choose with my camera on okay so let's just wait and click join with computer audio and here it is take a look on the different uh, tools that we have on the bottom part we have this mic we can mute it or unmute ourselves stop video if we want to stop the video or put the camera off and uh, of course let's look at this manage participants we need to click this so that we can see our students as you can see here, I only have one participant and obviously that is me. So I need to invite my students in this online class. To do so, I need to click this button, invite. All right. And I can see now the three options, default email, Gmail, and Yahoo Mail. I need to send this or click this copy URL and send it to my students. This will be their invitation link. But it is important that I also give or take note also the meeting password. Okay, I can copy the URL and send the meeting password to my student. Um, maybe I can uh, use messenger to send the link so it's up to you if you want to use any kind of social media applications okay so now once your students uh, click the link they can now access your online class and you can see them here on this participants okay and once you click their name you have the options there, you can mute them or unmute them and other, you can also rename them actually. Next, if you want to share your screen, say for example, you have your PowerPoint presentation as your visual aid or instructional material to your class, you can just simply click share screen. Oh, by the way, you need to open it first. Okay. You need to open first your PowerPoint presentation, and once done, you can now share your screen to your student. Just click this and choose the presentation. Click Share. All right, and there you are. You can see now the PowerPoint presentation that you've done, and since you already share your screen, your students can see it also. You can now start your online class here. And if you want to take some notes or you, if you want to highlight some of the parts of your slide, you can click this annotate and 
you want to highlight the title of your topic for today, you can just simply make a box out of it. You can actually use or type a text or use this one to emphasize your topic. Okay, and then that's it. You can just simply discuss all the slides to all of your students. How about you want to write something or you need to draw and you don't have a blackboard here, right? Don't worry because here in Zoom app, we have the so-called whiteboard. So to have or use the whiteboard, click the share screen. And here, the whiteboard, choose the whiteboard, then click share. All right, and then in this blackboard, you can write anything. You can draw, draw lines, form shapes, or figures. You can erase it, clear all the drawings, and you can also save this if you want. Okay, now if you are done using the whiteboard, just click stop share and you can now continue to your presentation. The next is the record button. Obviously, it is used to record your classes. Okay, and uh, once done recording, you can send the recorded file to the students who are not being able to attend the class, right? Another is the reaction button. You have two options here if you want to clap and you want thumbs up, okay? Maybe you can do this if you are happy and you are satisfied with your students, they've done well, right? And of course, this one, if you want to end the meeting and if the class is done, you just simply click end the meeting and end meeting for all. And that's it, okay? So I do hope that you've learned something from my tutorial and please do subscribe to my channel and hope to see you again next time.